everybody. <laughs> Happy Pride Month. Miss you guys. Hope you guys have had a good start to the year. About halfway through it, I guess, almost. Yeah, I haven't made a video in a minute, as I have developed the habit of doing. I have a lot of reasons, but hey, here we are. I figured I would do like a little update and check in on you guys. Driving, vlogging, don't do it, it's not good. My car kind of drives itself, so. Just finished at the gym, a little out of breath. Did a little back day. Got in from some personal travel yesterday, leaving for work travel tomorrow, just back to back, you know. For those of you that don't know, I am a traveling optometrist. So, a mobile eye doctor. Kind of like concierge service. I go to companies and do on-site eye exams for the company that I work for. Which, it doesn't really matter, but yeah, it's really cool. So, we've been shut down for the last two years because of COVID, so I'm kind of in scramble to make up for all the things we canceled mode. So, I'm on the road every week, pretty much. So, it's no excuse to not vlog, but See that mountain? There she is. All right, home sweet home. I don't think I've shown you guys the house in a little bit, but it's had some stuff done. I mean, the outside I've been kind of working on, so getting all the trim and stuff painted and mulching. I need plants and stuff, but. And then my, uh, I made this flower garden last year and uh, it's coming up very nicely. Got hydrangeas and a bunch of roses and peonies. It's gonna be great. Not really much to show right now. Just my little bushes all starting to get their leaves. Yeah, the trees are still amazing. The place is still super serene and peaceful. I love it. Uh, oh yeah, look at this guy. Oh, Japanese maples. Living its life nicely. I still haven't really done much with the sunroom yet. You'd think I would have more plants than one dying one, but hey, you know what? It is what it is. Oh man, all these roses are coming up. Somebody needs to get out here and weed this garden, Andrew. All right, so ignore my uh, chlorine. This is my little redwood bonsai. Look how cute that is. And that is a U, U bonsai. And that will be a spruce bonsai, but I still gotta pot it and cut the roots and stuff, but cute, right? Been a minute since I have used the hot tub because I've been gone so much, so I gotta come out here and do maintenance on it, clean it up, um, get all the sticks and stuff out, make sure it's chlorinated. It looks pretty gross right now. <laughs> but how nice though, look at that. Like, just in the middle of the woods. Cleaning out my hot tub and look who was living in it. Little guy, don't live in my hot tub. That's got chlorine in it, you can't do that. You should just live in the grass. Okay, bye. I did have someone come in and use like a thing to clear out all the like low brush and just give the trees their space. I told them to save all the uh, trees that are babies, like that are like natural. And he said he did, but there aren't a ton of them in here. I haven't been out here since it's been so green. And uh, that's pretty that's pretty nice how fast it changes, you know? This is actually one of my favorite spots here. I don't really know if you can see it, but this tree is covered in moss and ferns. And it's the biggest like deciduous tree on the property. So, and it's kind of right in the center too. So I call it a Vendasora if um, you've read uh, The Wheel of Time. If you can't tell, I'm filming on my phone. My camera I kept in my bag and I guess it just got junked around too many times and it doesn't work anymore. So I don't know so many people will film on their cameras or whatever, like on their phones. I feel like I should be able to do it. It's just the quality is not great. And my arm is getting so tired holding this up so much. <laughs> um, the house is still all white. I like it. I do. I feel like I need a little bit more like color in it. I, it's very like clean feeling, I guess, but I think it's kind of like bland at this point. Man, I wish my ceilings were taller or something. I don't know what it is, but I love the place. It's amazing. It feels great. Oh yeah, someone sent me a package, so I should I should try this on for y'all. It's kind of a vibe. It makes my chest look really big. That's nice. We'll see. That's kind of hot. I kind of like it. Where would I wear this though? I have no idea. 
And definitely not with these blue shorts. Maybe like jeans or something. It's very trendy. Very trendy for me. Usually I'm a athletic clothes kind of guy. This is cute. Thank you. KVRT. I say that. <laughs> what else is new? I've switched to Patreon. Um, no, no pressure. Honestly, I don't post videos there right now or anything. Like, it's just pictures, behind the scenes kind of stuff from my Instagram. So, you follow my Instagram, you get the gist. If you want a little bit more, you can do the Patreon. The other that I had was just, it's too stigmatized with work right now. I mean, I have a very diverse patient group. And so it's just for the best for me just not to have it. So switch to Patreon. Um, I'll put the link down there, I guess, if you want to join it. No pressure at all. Okay, also, if you haven't read A Song of Achilles, the book, very good. Definitely would recommend. Also, what did I read? The Starboard Sea, super emotional, but also very good. If you want a good book, um, Heartstoppers, the show, so cute, right? Oh my gosh. I thought it was adorable. You know, I, I a little bit of a cliche about like the jock or whatever, but in the end, it was a really cute like love story. I don't know. I really liked it. If you haven't watched Heartstoppers on, what is it, Netflix? That's very good. Um, I guess recently uh, I've been spending a lot of time just trying to maintain my mental health, right? I'm, you know, being busy and anxious or whatever. Everybody is stressed and um, it's really good to just take time away from your phone. Um, and as I am recording a video for you to watch, probably on your phone, I'm saying this, um, just make sure you give yourself time to be off of your phone just with your free thoughts where you don't have anything else you have to do just to think about things. Journaling is amazing. Where do you start with journaling? Just write down what you did today and how you thought about it. Um, so I got up and ate breakfast and it was okay. Or, um, I went to the gym and I had, you know, a really good workout. I didn't like this about this. And it just helps you reflect on your day and then make thoughts about what you would do in the future. It's really a great thing to do for your mental health. Um, what else? Meditate. A lot of meditation. I've been doing that too. You know, just trying to know what makes you happy and what doesn't and how to come to terms with things as they happen. It just makes you a more self-aware person. And I think it's great. I think it's amazing. I'm going to my first gay wedding ever this weekend. My friends Matt and Connor from here in Seattle are having a wedding and I'm so excited. So um, I love them and I'm super happy for them and it's gonna be a blast and we're serving looks. So check out my Instagram for that. I will be popping around some prides this year. Um, and so if you are out and about at one of the prides and you see me, come say hi. I would love to meet you, whoever you are. I don't really know which ones I'm gonna be at yet, but I know I will be at some. So happy Pride Month, everybody. I think that's pretty much it for today. Um, I wanna do more travel videos and I don't know, if you have ideas for content that you want me to talk about or that you wanna see, um, leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear that. Give me some ideas. I just, I feel like I've done so much. Like, I feel like I've talked about so many things that like, I don't wanna be a dead horse. So if there's something you wanna hear, let me know. Um, all right, Arbor, where's Arbor? Very important question. I know that's gonna be a huge question. Arbor's with my sister. My sister moved to Seattle about a year ago with me. And when I travel for work, I um, pawn her off on my sister and their best friends. So she's in a little bit of trouble right now. She tore up um, like some trim in the house, but you know, what can you do? She's so cute, not gonna do anything. All right, I love you guys. It's so weird. I'm right back to like looking at myself instead of the camera again, because I'm like dumb, I don't know. Never stop learning, y'all. See ya.